Hey, hi, I'm Adam Harbour, South East Queensland, Territory Manager for Quartev AgriScience. Brad McGee, Senior Agronomist, Elders Bow Desert. Been with Elders for just over 13 years. I look after the areas around Scenic Rim. We've um, predominantly cropping for um, animal production. We aim for about that 50 to 60 tonne per hectare wet. Due to fall army worm and the pressure that it puts on us and the relentlessness of that beast in those hotter months, we've actually forced our corn planting window back into the late parts of August and have given up on the December plantings. We had probably three or four paddocks that were before V6 absolutely demoralised and we had to actually pull them out. So when you're looking at a crop like corn, we were probably in for about $1,500 a hectare to actually get the process done. It's quite an expensive crop to grow and if we have failures, it's not really good for the farmers. The most surprising thing about fall armyworm is the aggressiveness that it takes over. When it first arrived, you'd see spots on a couple of leaves, a bit of windowing, but what was happening is then you'd see the size of like a car park would be completely like eaten to the ground and then that would go 10 times in a week. It's quite mind blowing how quick it had spread across the paddock. Tell us a little bit about Intrepid Edge and it first hit the market late last year and your initial thoughts and on how you'd use it. We're using it at that sort of V6 plus when we've got actually canopy. Really, really excited about when the product come to market to have two actives in one, one spray. That's probably a big game changer, especially in our like, pest management sort of plans. We're trying to change those actives. Also, another good thing is to move away from those 28s that we know work quite well. But when you start leaning on a single chemistry group quite hard, it sort of backs you into a corner. We haven't found too many that work as good as this product, in, like, and especially it's probably the fact that they've got two actives in there. So this was sprayed three weeks ago, and yeah, we've, we're not looking at spraying it for a while, so it's fitted in quite well. And how about any thoughts on IPM? We've seen a lot of ladybugs in there. It's probably the where it fits in is we sort of wait until we get that canopy and then we get that ecosystem where beneficials are starting to move in with us. Um, and if we can use a product like Intrepid Edge that's going to have a, a prolonged activity but not be have an effect on our um, beneficials, it's yeah, it's a plus for me. What were your initial thoughts uh, when you first heard about Intrepid Edge as a new product? Pretty exciting to have another product coming out that was actually effective on fall armyworm, but more to the point that it wasn't a group 28. To have a combination that's not a group 28, yeah, it's a big plus for me. What were your uh, initial thoughts, mate, on Intrepid Edge after the first time you used it? I was quite surprised at how, how well it worked. Quick knockdown, good residual and you can sort of get to it when you get to it and have a, like a really, really big shotgun approach where you can hit all life stages. Now you've used Intrepid Edge for two maize crop. What are your thoughts going forward for your cropping systems and, and Intrepid Edge? Bang for buck, I think using it for that for the two goes, two, two sprays in crop, um, I think it definitely fits in there. Definitely be using Intrepid Edge in that system. Thanks, Brendan. Really appreciate your time to talk us through the local maize system and how you use Intrepid Edge to, to grow such a beautiful crop of uh, maize here. No, any time, mate. Ball armyworm is a, it's a problem that's going to be around for a while and we need the solutions to fix the systems.